it feels like we're all suffering from information overload or data glut. And the good news is there might be an easy solution to that, and that's using our eyes more. So visualizing information so that we can see the patterns and connections that matter. And then designing that information so it makes more sense, or it tells a story, or allows us to focus only on the information that's important. In the first part of this tutorial, I will show you the basics of how to generate a graph in Illustrator, how to add labels to the data sets and the categories, how to generate a simple legend for your graph, and how to edit the axis. Before you go into Illustrator to generate the graph, you should have your data ready, preferably in a spreadsheet, because this way it will be easier to paste into Illustrator. We have prepared ours in a simple spreadsheet. These are values of gross national income per capita for the year 2011 that we selected from the World Bank. So let's copy our data and go into Illustrator. To generate the graph, go to your toolbar and then select Graph Tool. You will notice your cursor changes. Click and hold to delimit the area of your new graph. And when you release the click, you will see a generic graph in a small window appear. This is the data entry window. You can enter your data in these cells just like you would in a spreadsheet by typing it in the entry text box up here. A faster way to do this is to select and paste the data you copied from your spreadsheet. Click on the check mark to apply your changes. And there's our simple graph. Your graph may look somewhat different based on the settings you have specified for previous graphs. Now we will need to add a legend and maybe a prefix to the values down here. In Illustrator, the legend is generated automatically when you add labels to the datasets, which are the bars of the graph, and the data categories, which are the values. For this, you will need to bring the data entry window back. So go to Object, Graph, then Data. Clear the first line of data. The first cell will remain empty, and at the top of the values, we will put the label 2011, because these are the values from that year. If your label is just a number, such as a year, you have to put it in quotation marks so that the software can distinguish it from the other values. The first column will always display the labels of the data categories. For our graph, the countries are the labels, so we will leave them as they are. As you can see, the whole thing acts and looks like a simple spreadsheet, which is why it's easy to work with. Click the check mark and here is our legend. If you go back and add letters to the label, quotations are no longer necessary. Now let's edit the axes a little bit. To show the viewers of your graph what units the numbers represent, you can add a suffix or a prefix to the values. Also, to help the viewers follow the graph better, we can also adjust the length of the ticks over here. Click on the graph to select it, then go to Object, Graph, then Type. From this little drop-down, select Value Axis. You will put the dollar sign as a prefix because my values are international dollars. We can increase the length of the ticks to span the full length of the graph. And we can even increase the number of ticks for a more granular view. To remove the ticks sticking out from the bars, go to the drop down and select Category Axis and set tick marks to none. When you are done, click OK. All of our changes are in place. Wasn't that easy? If you feel you need to adjust the font characteristics of the axis, just click the graph to select it. Go to Type, then Font, to change the font face. Then to Type, then Size, to choose the size you think you need. There you have it, a basic graph generated in Illustrator. And now the fun part. 
In the next section, we will show you how to style your graph to make it more appealing and convey information easier. Let's start with simple shapes. To make a man, you will need four circles, one solid, th and three with no color, two medium lines with rounded caps, one rectangle with a rounded cap, two long lines with rounded caps, and another medium line with a rounded cap. I've set this man up with a human into a human form. Pay attention as he is quickly put together. Now let's put a flag over him. In Photoshop, make sure to click on the layer of the flag you want to put on the man. Click on the eye to show the flag. Go to the drop down menu where it says normal and find where it says lighter color. Click it. Now your man is wearing his flag. I've saved him as a JPEG. Let's drag him back into Illustrator. Very quickly, I'm going to make him into a smaller man. If you want to do this, make sure to grab the corners while pressing shift on your Mac or control on your PC. This way, even though your man is now small, he is still in proportion. I've already created more men, gave them flags, and placed them on the graph. But each country only has one man. I'm going to create more men in relation to their G and I. One man is going to equal 5,000. The easiest way to do this is by clicking the option button, then clicking on your man. When you see the double white and black arrow, you have created a copy of the man. So all of our countries now have all of their men, but we want to get the correct amount of men in relation to the countries G and I, and we want to align the men. The easiest way to do this is by setting one man nearest to the country's G and I number. Highlight all of the men on that row. Then click the horizontal distribute center button. Now they're all aligned. But as you can see, our first three countries are not quite 5,000. I'm going to create a mask to cut these men in half. First, create a long rectangle and make sure its color is white. Move the rectangle to the left, your left, of the men. Highlight all three men and the rectangle. Then go to Object, to Clipping Mask, then click Make. Your men are now, are now chopped in half. Now our graph is complete. If you want to do this, you can use different countries, a different colored background, or even feel free to make your men larger or more precise than ours. In this video, you learned what data visualization is, how to generate a graph in Adobe Illustrator, and how to manipulate that graph.